Well, the first thing you want to do is gather all your supplies. You'll need some wood pieces, hot glue, hot glue gun, some star foam cones, and some yarn, different colors of yarn, chunky yarn. I use kind of a medium chunky yarn. Now here I'm gluing the wood piece on the bottom of the star foam as a base. Um, I know you can't see my hands real well right now, but it will um, get a little bit better here shortly when I lower um, the star foam onto the table. So just bear with me for a moment. We're just hot gluing these on in place. And these star foam trees I did order from Amazon. They are um, very sturdy. They don't melt when you're using the hot glue gun. And you can get about 18 different star foam trees in multiple uh, sizes for about $16. So they're cheaper than getting them at Hobby Lobby or Michaels or Joann's or anywhere else. So um, that is what I have found so far. Now, if you notice on my fingers, I am using thumb guards. I have burned my fingers so bad with the glue gun. Actually, one time a third degree burn. So um, I recommend getting these thumb guards. And again, you can get these off of Amazon or maybe some other place, but they are well worth the money. I am starting to put the yarn on the very bottom around the wood trim. And again, I apologize for you not being able to see it, but you will be able to see it here in a second. So I'm just kind of gluing it around the bottom of the um, tree stump. And I hope you guys are having a um, wonderful January so far. Um, I'm beginning to get all my Christmas packed and put up and I'm starting to get all the Valentine decor out. My winter, I will say my winter Valentine decor. And these mauve color trees, which you're gonna see, um, are actually for my fireplace mantle for my Valentine uh, decorations. I'm so excited for you to see the, the final mantle. It, I, I feel that it's really beautiful and one of my best Valentine mantles I've ever done. So I'm excited to share that with you. And here again, we're getting the yarn around just the bottom around the trunk that we glued on. And these little pieces of wood I did purchase at Hobby Lobby. They were very inexpensive and there's multiple sizes of wood disc in the little bag that I purchased. And you can see part of it. I'm going to lay it on the table in a second and you're going to be able to see more of it as I finished uh, wrapping the entire tree with the yarn. Now this process, you do have to have patience. It does take a little bit of time and it does take a lot of hot glue. Here we are going around the bottom. These thumb and finger guards are great when you're pressing the yarn down. I'm going around the edge there and just wrapping. I'm pressing as I'm going along. Again, these uh, star foam trees from Amazon are a lot better than the ones you can purchase at your local stores. They, they don't melt with the hot glue. And that's one of the biggest things or the biggest problems I was having when I was using the white ones from Hobby Lobby or the green ones from Michael when I used this really hot glue. Um, they melted. These do not. They are wonderful. And I can put a link down below in the description of, of these star foam trees that you might want to use. I did get the um, chunky, which is a kind of a medium chunky yarn. I did purchase um, the pink one. I think I have a gray one, a white one. I did get those at Michael's. 
Uh, I saw lately that they're not carrying a lot of them. I tried to find red. I couldn't find the, the same size in red anywhere. A bright red. I could find uh, like a cranberry red, but I really didn't want a um, cranberry red. So I'm probably, when they come back in stock, I'm going to pick up a bunch of them uh, to do some trees for um, Christmas and Valentine's. Probably over the summertime. That's when I'll probably see some more in stock. Okay, now you can see me starting to wrap around the side. Again, as I said before, it's a slow process because you want to take your time to get the yarn going the same direction and on the same side so there's a nice, smooth, even look to it. And you really want to be careful not to burn your fingers. I do have a piece of yellow glue stick laying there. I did take that out. Don't use yellow. <laughs> That's what I had in my glue gun. I was making honey with the yellow on some projects for my Beescape items that I do in the spring and the summer. And actually you can do some Beescape items for the fall too. They look really cute if you bring in some fall colors. I probably have made, <clears throat> I'm trying to think, over five or six of these already. Um, today I'm going to make some really smaller ones that are going to look really cute to put on my tear trays. And hopefully I'll have a video for you in, uh, probably maybe next week or the, uh, the last week of January of my Valentine tear trays. I am going to be going on vacation for just a few days coming up. And as you can see, this is a little time consuming, but it is well worth the finished project. I'm needing a little more glue. I have a bad habit of knocking over my hot glue gun, which you'll see here shortly, but it's all good. I have it on an old paper plate that I have been reusing multiple times. As you can see, it's already kind of ripped up, but that's okay. Now you have a much better view of me gluing this on than I've been able to put the tree down. And I kind of pull on it 
it's not very loose. I give it a nice little tug, but not too much where I am flattening the yarn. It's a good thing I have the finger guards on because I haven't got my nails done <laughs> since right before Christmas. I do plan on getting them done on Thursday this week, but they hide those awful of fingernails. <laughs> but they're really good for protecting you from getting burns. Of course, this one's going to take a lot longer because it is the largest size tree that comes in the package. But when you see the final results on my fireplace, you'll know why I chose different sizes and went with a few large ones. This is the first year I'm going pretty much well all out, um, I mean, on Valentine decor. I'm coordinate, coordinating it with my winter decor. And I will also, besides um, showing you what I did with my fireplace mantle, I'm doing the tear trays. I will be doing a home, a full home tour for Valentine's and winter decor. Um, before Valentine's Day so I hope you will subscribe and look for that video coming out it's gonna be awesome this will be my first year doing a winter Valentine home tour video so I'm very excited about that Please let me know in the comments what you think so far and if you're going to try one of these on your own. We are needing some more hot glue. I really didn't count how many glue sticks I used, but I will tell you, maybe three or four of the long glue sticks to do one large tree like this. Well, it looks like I lost a few of my finger guards. I'll have to get those back on. It's kind of a side view, what it's looking like so far. And if you get any little lumps of hot glue, I just take my scissors and just trim those right off. It's not going to hurt the result of the tree at all.
I'm trying to give it a few seconds in between so that some of that glue can dry before I start with the next piece of yarn. And then here I am trimming a little more of that hot glue as I see it that I may have gotten a little bit too much and it's sticking out. Kind of off the subject, this weekend on Saturday night, we are seeing a Katy Perry concert. My husband loves concerts. I've never seen her perform ever. I do see her on American Idol occasionally, but I haven't been watching a lot of TV these days. We have multiple concerts we're going to see this year. Um, we have... Uh, Let's see, I'm trying to think who we're seeing. Oh, we're seeing Journey in April, uh, some local ones in Deep Alum in Dallas, Texas. I think uh, the Chili Peppers, I'm trying to think of the name, some of these groups my husband texts me to see. We do have tickets to see New Kids on the Block in May and Backstreet Boys in June. Um, I loved my boy bands in the 90s, <laughs> and we do a lot of the old um, uh, 80s classic rock groups we like to see. I also love country music. I got to see Blake Shelton and Martina McBride in concert back in September. Great concert. Really awesome. If you haven't seen a Blake Shelton concert, you need to go. <laughs> he is amazing. Let me know some of the, uh, if in the comments, some of your favorite concerts that you have seen. I've been to, to quite a few over the years, and we continue to enjoy going. Uh, it's a little different now with COVID, but um, this year there's a lot of the groups are still performing. This is last year's calendar upside down that I'm using as a pad, so make sure that you do have something down to protect your surface. Um, I did drop some hot glue onto the pad, so unfortunately, no damage done.
for the larger trees, I'm, I'm guessing it takes about 30 minutes to do a large tree. The smaller the tree, the quicker, obviously, you are going to get done. And you're going to see in a moment how I um, decorate the tree just a tiny bit. The first tree I did, um, I used the low heat, the smaller um, hot glue gun for the little trees. But I am finding that the the hotter and the larger hot glue gun keeps the yarn on there a little bit better. I did have some yarn coming loose on one that I used the low temp hot glue gun on, so I recommend the hot hot glue. And as you can see, it creates such a beautiful velvety appearance on the tree. And I'm really loving this mauve color. It's just so beautiful. And you'll notice that I do kind of hold down as I'm putting glue on for the new piece. I kind of hold the prior piece that I was gluing just to make sure it stays in place. And every once in a while, you're going to have to clean off the glue for your um, finger guards because they get kind of sticky after a while. <laughs> it's 
So I am pretty clumsy <laughs> with the hot glue gun, but that's okay. It's all good. <laughs> Told you. <laughs> so I've had to turn the heater on in here because it's a little bit chilly so you may hear the heater in the background we are getting close to getting this tree wrapped oh it feels a lot better in here with the heat as you can see now I have uh, decided to put on put back on those finger finger guards on my left hand. I did get a little bit burnt, so I was like, okay, I need to get this back on. That first finger next to my thumb. As you can see, I, I don't cut the yarn, I just leave and pull off the ball and I don't cut it until I'm almost about ready to finish the tree. I actually find making these therapeutic. It's very relaxing to me. You do have to have a lot of patience though for the final <laughs> outcome, but I have really enjoyed making these. Here again, I'm trimming off some glue that got on top of the yarn. I do try to place the glue as close up to the um, prior piece of yarn that I, that I uh, glued on. You want them to be very close and tight together so you don't see through the yarn to the cone.
So I'm getting pretty close to the tip of the tree. So in a moment, I'm gonna kind of set it upward so I can wrap the very tip a little bit easier. I'm gonna keep pressing down so the yarn stays on. just a, a little bit easier to do the, the very tip if the uh, tree is standing straight up. I don't have a very good view of this from my camera and I apologize for that, but you'll see it in a moment. And you'll see how I top it off with a little bit of trim on it for decor with a cute little bow and a little wood heart. And in a moment, I'll cut the yarn off. That's still kind of clipping any of those little pieces of glue that you see on the outside of the tree. I may have to make some of these and put them on my Etsy store. I have an Etsy shop. Um, I'm having so much fun making these. I was thinking I should make them for all the holidays and sell them on my Etsy shop. You can go to Carol Dyer Floyd on Etsy and see a few of the things I have on there. Since I enjoy making so many different craft projects. It just brings me joy and, and as I said before, very therapeutic. I'm going to cut this yarn off now. I'm just wrapping the very tip. Again, you can't see that very well, but uh, you'll get to see the finished project product in just a moment uh, of this tree and several other ones I made. Just trimming up the very, very tip to get any flyaway yarns cut off. I'm pushing down the, the last piece of yarn on the very tip with some hot glue. And that's where those finger guards come in real handy. And you're going to want to pull off any excess glue, I call them glue hairs, that you see on the outside of the tree. Most of them you can pull off with your fingers or clip them off so you have a nice smooth tree finish. Now I'm going to take a piece of white yarn that I'm going to wrap around the tree and I'm going to um, pull on it several times to kind of straighten it out so I don't have any kinks in it or at least fewer kinks than, than I want. And I'm going to tie this around the tree. Not so easy to tie with your finger guards on so you want to take those off. And this just kind of adds a little bit of a delicate decor to the tree. I'm making a bow here. 
very simple, very easy to do. And then I'm going to trim off the excess string on the bow. You might want to make sure you have a pretty sharp pair of scissors. These were kind of dull and left kind of a fringe edge, so I wanted to retrim them with a little bit better pair of scissors. Straighten that out. And then I'm going to take these little wood hearts. These were purchased on Amazon for around $6.99 for a bag of about 100. They say love on them. And it's going to go in the middle of the bow. And I just, I love this. I love the love heart. <laughs> Here is my white and red one and a smaller one of the pink mauve color. And I'm proud of my little handiwork here. Let me know with a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and please subscribe. And thank you so much.